Hey guys! Welcome to the Joe Fubar Man Cave. This is where I do some of my recording. This is where I'm comfortable. This is where I house all of my childhood and manhood memories. And I'm going to give you a little tour of it. This room isn't very big. It's basically a laundry room or a converted laundry room. When we built this house, this was basically just like a closet with a couple washer and dryer outlets in it. And we decided to redesign, take a door out, and uh, it became my office. So, I'm going to show you all of my memories. I'm going to explain everything for you. First off, let's switch around. Okay, many of you remember this. My uh, shoulder rig for my DSLR camera. Yeah, and there it sits. There's a color by number that my grandmother did before she passed away. Um, let's see, I've got some Nagel pictures from the 80s. I've got a Yoshi! And, uh, yeah, well, laundry room, as you can see. Laundry. And chocks. This is the target that I used in my I'm firing my man cannon video. There is a, an old shotgun that I traded my old SKS assault rifle in for. I have plans for this. I want to take the stock off here and take that much of the barrel off. Imagine what that would look like. Yeah, I don't want to have to hang it on the wall anymore. Here's a cool Punisher picture that I drew back in high school. Look at the detail on those guns. Yeah. Here's a horseshoe crab that... I wanted to paint, I wanted to put like flames on it or like paint it military with a mouth and teeth and my wife's like, no, I like the color, I want to put it on the wall, so I never did. Here's a uh, little Angry Bird picture I did a couple months ago just to see if I still have my artistic ability. Um, here's some parts of an old TV. I actually, I removed some of the diodes on this, uh, not diodes, the capacitors on this thing to re repair a computer monitor the other day just to see if I could do it. This is a filing cabinet with all of my daughter's little badges from Ruth Eckerd Hall voice lessons. Let's see, we got a Playlist Live sticker, a Digitour sticker, Rode Microphone sticker. I got all kinds of stickers on this thing. Here is a painting done by my grandfather back in, uh, I wouldn't like to say 70s. Let's see, 72. Wow, I wasn't even born yet. Uh, here's a, a drawing of a Cobra, which is one of my favorite cars I did. It's stippling, you know, dots. Okay, here is, this is what I wanted to show exactly, I just wanted to show exactly how accurate a 44 Magnum can be. So what I did was I took the corner here out of the target, I put it 30 feet away, and I tried to hit the head. Look how close I got. And that was my second shot down there. This shotgun here was my, my father's 15th birthday present. Here's a picture of him with the shotgun. I don't know if you can see it. Pretty darn cool. And I've always been a comic book fan. I've got some of my more valuable comic books as a border to my room. Look at, look at, look at, look at, Punisher number one. It's a war journal. And then Punisher regular, one, two, those are my prized possessions. Look at this X-Men, it's only 12 cents. Crazy. But it's not my most valuable. See anything you like? Too bad, you can't have them. And let's see, oh, Wolverine number two, because I never could afford Wolverine number one. And let's see, oh, here's my, my flag from when I got married to my lovely wife. Here is the first Planet Hollywood I ever went to. I kind of ganked their menu. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, here's a little thing done by Sierra, kind of cool. Here is my, my wife's first Dan black belt, her certification that she's a lethal weapon. You don't mess with her. Here's some Logan artwork. 
Logan's an artist. Uh, what is this thing? Oh, it's Jennifer's Varsity Letter. Pretty cool. Here's an old GE clock that I pulled out of somebody's attic one time. Oh, and this, this is my air conditioning corner. Yeah, check it out, all right. Got an old Fetters thermostat. Got a Wayne Reynolds air conditioning thermostat. That's what the company used to be called back in the day. This one was just donated to me by Jennifer's uncle. It's an old, old chronotherm thermostat from Honeywell. Uh, Southern Cooler Frigidaire. I got all different kinds of brands here. Some really, really old, some not too old. You know, like this carrier here. Bard. Look at this one. AFCO, St. Louis American Furnace Company. Here's a Chrysler Corporation Air Temp. Tappan, McGraw Edison, Old Heil, even older Heil. This, this is one of my favorites right here. This thing actually was out of a 1952 commercial air conditioner. This couple down in South St. Pete had this thing installed in their closet, in the kitchen, and it was they said, and from what I found out, it was the first air conditioner ever to be put in a residential house in Florida. And it was, like, like I said, 1952. It had a hermetic compressor, fully hermetic. This thing, oh, wait a minute, semi, semi? It looked like a car engine. When this thing started up, it would shake the dishes. And it still worked. Okay? Yes. Big metal plate. This thing was probably 6 foot by 10 foot. It took up the whole closet. It was just amazing. Here's the thermostat for it, and it still works. It's an old Amana, stainless steel, okay? Here is a, a thermostat from my old AC company, and there's my, my proof that I'm an actual business contractor. Here's some old business cards that I had. These are mine. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, here, International Scout. This was a uh, project car that never quite got off the ground. I sold it for parts and made more money off of it. Here is the plate to my Grumman Olsen. This is my truck to trailer conversion. I just took it off there. Here's an old license plate. You don't need to see that. Um, these masks here were my grandfather's. I don't really know where he got them from. It's one of those don't ask, never asked, can't ask type things. Here's some of Sierra's artwork that was hanging up in the school. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, yes, here's some a vase collection. Don't laugh at my vase collection. And Boba Fett's guarding it. Um, here is a really, really cool old book. I'm not going to open it because it's like 110 years old and it might fall apart. The pictures inside of it are actually metal. They're metal plates. So, if you want me too. I can take it down later and show you a response. Um, this is a picture that I had a very famous political artist draw of me. He was a customer of mine. His name was Dan Smith. Here's a really cool picture of Sierra with the super blue eyes. No Photoshop there. Here is uh, Will of DC's autograph, Joe Penna, and D Storm. This was when we went to Playlist Live. Really cool. There's the honor roll certificate that allowed Sierra to go to Playlist Live and what actually started our YouTube Bing career. Here is my awesome wife right before her bodybuilding competition. And there is Tampa Bay Classic. Proof that she was in it. Okay, now this guy here, I got on my 18th birthday. I went to Jamaica. I paid 20 bucks for this thing. I had to carry it all over the place. I got all kinds of crazy looks when I went through the airport. Uh, here is a carrier. This was for the factory workers for carrier. They got that as a little, I don't know, 20 year anniversary present. Here is a really old set of gauges that actually still work. Imperial system analyzer. Get up there. Oh, I'm just going to leave it. Here are some of my first jobs. AMC Theater, I was an usher. On the back of it, it says Gestapo, because I would not let underage kids have fun. Burger King, yes, I worked at Burger King. And Lake Seminole Square Food Services, I was a busser. Mm -hmm. You gotta start somewhere. Here's my first knife. Here's a fishing reel, whatever. Here's a cool picture. Here is my 
aluminum broadsword from when I used to do taekwondo. I mean, taekwondo doesn't use broadswords. Kung Fu. Here is my hat. When it was my first hat ever, I still have it. Here is my parking sticker from high school. Here is my, oh wait a minute, this knife up here I found when I cleaned out my grandfather's place. It had five notches in it. I only wonder what that, not, not in the knife, in the hilt. There was five notches, so don't know what that means. I can only imagine. Here is, oh check this out. Ah, it's Freddy Krueger. You pull a string and he says all kinds of cool things. Uh, I had a customer give that to me. There's Sierra's first toy next to my first toy. A little engine right there. A Smurf. I don't know why I've got him. Oh, Haley's Comet car. Check that out. Haley's Comet. Yes, I was around when it came through. I didn't see it, unfortunately. Here's Venom. He talks. Here is one of my best pieces of art. I had it hanging up in the St. Petersburg Museum of Fine Art. Yes, and thank you very much. Here is some of Jennifer's stuff, and I'm starting to run out of time because this is getting really, really long. And that is it. That's the man cave. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Stay tuned for more.